Warning, use professional supervision when creating equipment. This project has been rated expert. Hi buff dudes, hi buff girls. Do it yourself, do back for another episode. And this time we're gonna make something really cool. Thor's hammer. Not only does Thor's hammer look cool, it's actually useful. You can use it in the barbarian squad, the grave digger, and many other exercises. In order to find the raw materials for Thor's hammer, we need a special dog, a Thor hammer sniffing dog. Okay, Samson, go sniff out the materials. Okay, now that our little Viking dog found what we need, we're ready to go. And granite doesn't look like much now, but by the time we're through with this, it's gonna be godlike. Okay, dudes, let's get started with the raw materials. You can get a new steel yard, but it's gonna be expensive. So look for a scrap pile somewhere with steel, used steel, old steel, you get it for a way less price. This piece is six inches tall by four inches wide by a quarter inch thick. And we're gonna make this 12 inches long for the hammer. So we're gonna cut it there on the bandsaw. So let's get to it. We're gonna slide it right in here. Make sure it's nice and stable. We got our 12 inch measurement right here at this mark. And by the way, we have a bandsaw here, which is nice to have if you're gonna cut steel. You don't have to have it though. You can use a sawzall with the blade, metal cutting blade. You're gonna be able to cut this thing. Granted, it's gonna take a little longer and maybe the, the cut isn't gonna be as straight, but you can always use the grinder, which we showed as part of the material list, to, to hone that straighter. If you wanna slay an ogre, Buff dudes, I'm telling you, that's the thing to have. Okay, you may not start out as a barbarian, but by the time you squat with this thing, you're gonna be a barbarian. Okay, we're going on to the handle now. We're gonna make this handle 26 inches long. Six of this inches will be lost inside the hammer head. This pipe is 3 16 pipe by an inch and a quarter. It makes a good handle hold there. Almost there. The hammer handle of the gods. So we don't have an inch and a quarter inch drill bit. That's a big drill bit. It's pretty expensive to buy, so we have to put a hole here. We're gonna use one of my favorite tools of all time, the oxyacetylene torch. So we're gonna cut a hole with the torch now, slip the handle in, and then we're gonna weld it on the inside. After that, we're gonna weld the caps on and do some grinding. Remember, we cut this 12 inches long. So we're gonna take our soapstone pencil here, which is a pencil, it's like chalk. It gives a white mark on steel. So half that's gonna be six inches here, and then half of the width, and then we're gonna have the center. And then we're gonna make an inch and a quarter diameter hole. Okay, I'm just using the pipe we're gonna use as an outline to draw where we need to use the torch and cut the hole. Right there. And a little oxygen. See if that handle's gonna fit in there. Right on. We're gonna square the pipe up so the handle looks good and straight, square to the hammer head. We're gonna tack weld it here and make sure it's straight before we fully weld it, which we're gonna do inside the hammer head. And I'll make it super strong because it'll be going all the way through, welded on both sides. Perfect battle hammer. Let's go ahead and crank this up. Okay, I've tacked it here. We've squared up the handle. I'm gonna go inside the hammer head right now and weld inside there. And then I'll finish up with welding a bead all around the handle on the outside of the hammer head. It's gonna be super strong. Check that square, because welds always 
pull the steel towards themselves. We're still looking good. I put like a double weld inside there so it's super strong. Okay. You gotta be one buff dude to wield this in battle, I'll tell you. Wow. We're not even done. We're gonna put some half inch in plates on this thing. That's gonna add to the weight. The fun part is gonna be able to uh, dress this thing up and make it look authentic. It looks pretty cool right now, rusted naturally. I could, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to work out to be able to wield this thing in battle. Oh, talk about a shoulder workout. Deltoids, let me tell you. Oh, you could do all kinds of exercises with this thing. We're gonna go ahead and cut the end caps now and weld those on the end. There's gonna be, over here you can see, we'll end up with a slight bevel, which will grind the weld off so it'll look like a uniform hammer, like it was forged out of a rock or out of a chunk of iron or steel. It'll look really good. So I'm gonna make some marks and then go ahead. I'm just gonna cut this with the torch. I have a magnetic square that sticks. And then we'll run the torch down that line and then that line, and then we'll be ready to weld it on. Okay, got both the end caps finished, all cut. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and set this where I want it to be, where we're gonna put, I'm gonna hang it up a little higher. So we'll put a weld there, and then we can put that slight bevel on. Go ahead and tack it. Then I'm gonna bring the other level down where it needs to be. Tack that, tack the other corner, the other corner, get it all set, and then go ahead and start the complete weld. Okay, this is gonna add <clears throat> substantially to the weight, putting these cap end caps on there, a quarter inch thick, so that one's tacked. I'm gonna go ahead and tack the other one on. <clears throat> okay, got it welded, the end caps. Now we're going right on to grinding those. Okay, we got some good bevel going on here. Some grinding there going on. It's starting to look good. We're down to the last little piece of Thor's hammer to weld. It's a part at the end, commonly called the pommel. That keeps your hand from slipping off as you're heavy duty in the mix of battle. There it is, onto the painting stage. First so we're gonna wipe it down with wax and grease remover and that'll prep it for the paint. So that's our first step. Pretty nice old bevel there. Again, it's a pretty quick project. Could have done it in a lot more detailed, but we just don't have time. We got YouTube videos to pump out. <laughs> Here it is. We got the leather on it. Wrap the handle and on the bottom. What we use is this leather. It's an inch and three quarters wide. Actually, sorry, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's an inch and a quarter wide. And I didn't measure this so much. I just wrapped it and got a good distance so we could see the silver underneath. And then took a string and wrapped this. But really important to use some contact cement on the back side of the leather and then on the metal where you're going to glue it to also on the string and then for good support went over and got me some uh, self tappers and screwed in the ends where they will stay really well that way thor's hammer so mere mortals it's very difficult to lift <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, dudes, as you can see, I added a little Nordic symbol and a little bit of battle scar to it so it looks a little worn. This took all day. In fact, it's time to have a beer, buff dude style. <laughs>
This hammer just doesn't look cool. It's also a good workout tool. And you're gonna see that in the future with Hudson and Brandon doing some awesome workouts. Like remember I mentioned the barbarian squats, the grave digger. We're gonna put this thing to use. It's not just a battle hammer, it's a workout hammer. Stay tuned.